It's just about 8 o'clock, maybe a minute or two after. And uh, I live on the other side of the Baha'i Temple on the corner of Sheridan and Linden. And I uh, was going to walk the dog. And uh, I heard the kaboom and the blast and felt it. I mean, it was, a, it was a big force. It was something that I knew was more than a gun or a fire, you know, a firework or something. It was a big, big boom. Uh, they felt the pictures on the walls. They saw him shake uh, in the house. And so as I'm walking the dog, I see the big black billowing smoke. So we walked down and I was probably here four minutes after the explosion. And uh, the first police cars were just arriving and I was able to, you know, nothing, none, nothing was blocked off. So I was on the middle of the bridge. And at the time, there was some tools and a cooler cover and some other debris that had blown all the way into the middle of Sheridan Road. Um, and yeah, and then, you know, just watching everything kind of just burn and sink. At the time, I didn't know that there was anyone on board. Um, the people that, the first people on the scene weren't aware either, I don't think. Uh, they were more concerned with getting fire extinguishers and putting out the fire. Um, I went home and half an hour later I heard that, uh, that there were two people on board.